I just wanted to ask, when did your opinion change on Trump? Because you weren't a Trump supporter back then. And what, what led yeah. to that? Yeah. Yeah. So, so I, yeah, it, it's funny Thank because you. for a long time until Biden had this big debate gaffe that blew up his whole campaign, <laughs> there was this thing where the, the media would say, well, Biden has bad memory, but so does Donald Trump. And I'm always like, what the hell are you talking about? Donald Trump remembers in excruciating detail everything I said about him nine years ago, right? <laughs> the guy has a memory like a steel trap. I wish that his memory was like Joe Biden. Um, but, you know, yeah, I was critical of Trump in 2015, 2016. And I think, like, there are a lot of different things you could say about it. But fundamentally, it boils down to two things. Number one, I didn't think he was going to be a great president. I, in fact, thought he was a really good president, like the, certainly the best president of my lifetime. And so when the facts change, I think thinking people should change their mind, right? Okay, I was wrong about the guy, and he was great. But there's something a little bit deeper, actually, where I kind of learned that the media is so dishonest about Trump that a lot of the things that I thought about him in 2016 weren't just like, you got to change your mind. It's just outright that was false. So... For example, I don't know if you guys remember this, but you know, there was this thing that happened in Charlottesville where a white supremacists killed this girl and very tragic situation. And the media said, well, Trump stood up for the white supremacist. And there was a time in my life where I would have believed the media, what they said about it. And then you go and read what the transcript of what he actually said. And it's like, wait a second, he actually condemned the white supremacist. He never said that there were very good people on both sides. What he said is that some of the protesters were good people, not like the white supremacists who murdered this girl. And you realize so much of what the media says about this guy is totally dishonest. I think once you accept that frame of mind, you start to think for yourself a little bit. And when I started doing that, I started realizing, one, he's a good president, but two, he's just not the guy. He's not the scary person the media makes him out to be. Yeah, this is this is like the, the, the most sort of concerning thing, I think, as a just a person in general, and specifically in the United States, is like, where do you actually trust and what do you actually trust? Because there's so much backing from big companies, big tech, yep. where it's like they're invested in one side winning versus the other Absolutely. side losing. And it just becomes this really weird space where you're like, what is actually real? And you yourself even admit to seeing something some way and just taking it for what it was and yeah. seeing it change. My question for you is like, as this all progresses, like for example, this currently you try to Google the attempt assassination on Donald Trump and it doesn't even come this is up. crazy, yeah. And it's like, yep. that's one of the most exactly. concerning things. It's crazy. It's, yeah. it's like a- You type in assassination of TRU and yeah. it doesn't autocomplete Trump. Yeah. It happened two weeks ago. And then you look at the biggest donors for like the other side. We're talking about as far as like the Biden Harris campaign. And it's right. like Google is one of their biggest donors. Yep. So and that's public. That's public. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like that's Google is that's right. the biggest donor to the Democrat. Yeah. Oh, and party. their employers are huge, yeah. huge donors to the Democrats. I mean, it's I, I have I have friends who work there. I have friends who involved in the tech sector. Um, Google is a straight up insane co company. The people, the senior leadership, the people who run the search algorithms, it is a, effectively a left wing propaganda machine. And there are all these other ways you come up to. I, sorry to interrupt you. But no, you're great. Like this was a thing that, that I, I like a couple of years ago when I was doing my Senate campaign. Somebody said, type in, go and Google, can a man get pregnant? And I was like, well, why would I do that? If, you know, I know the answer to that question. He's like, just go do it. You type into Google, I don't know if this is still true, but it was true two years ago. Can a man get pregnant? And the first search result is yes, a man can get pregnant. In fact, it happens more often than people think. What the right? <laughs> it's a weird company, but it actually, you realize it controls the flow of information in our country. It, but that's what's scary, because like most people are not gonna do like the, any sort of research or looking in deeper, yeah. and they just take it for face value. So it's just kind of like, where do we go from here as, as technology advances and as like that sort of side of things just becomes more and more powerful, like how do we actually know what's real? 